tips on getting setting crossover points on a multiband for vocal and or mastering what do you aim for when setting this up that is a great question that is an absolutely great question and it's unfortunately hard to answer because of course the answer i don't want to be that guy but of course the answer is it depends but i'm gonna try to narrow down the concept okay let's let's say you have a let's say you have a three band right or four band compressor generally speaking this is not a rule and it's just a general idea the higher the higher bands higher in frequencies they tend to need a faster attack and a faster release all right because when you try to control the top end it's usually fast events s's hats snares fast events right the lower you go in frequency, the the longer and the slower the the audio events are. So you have the guitars, let's say, in the middle of the synths, and then you have the bass, and then you have the kick, or the other way around, you have the kick and then the 808, right? So as you go, as you move towards the lower frequencies and the lower bands of your multiband compressor, you want to have a slower attack and a slower-ish release. The slower attack is kind of necessary because think about a waveform for an 808, right? So a hi-hat is gonna be like this. An 808 is gonna be like this, right? So not only you don't need a fast attack for the low end, usually, again, not a rule, but if you set a too fast of an attack on a, on a slow event, like an 808 or a kick drum, especially plug-in compressors, multiband, they will start to stutter. They will go in and out that slow event, right? They'll go in and out so fast, they will cause stut what we call stuttering. They will just do brrr like this. Same, you can hear it with a gate. When you set a gate and you set an attack and a release too fast, on a kick drum, for example, or on a bass, you will hear a stutter, you know? It's like a, an auto gate, but it sounds like shit. So this is the general rule. The higher bands are usually want to more uh, faster attack and a faster release than, than the low range. As for the crossover points, as you asked, that's tricky. That's tricky because let's say you're on a vocal, I can tell you like the usual, right? And again, it's not a rule, but you want to control all the hard consonant and S's. So, right? All those, all those sounds in the top band. So imagine the top end as a de-esser. Uh, so very quick attack and release. And that, it depends on the singer, but let's say you can have, you can usually have two scenarios, 9K and up. So very, very top end. Some microphones are really sharp like there, all right? Or even in mastering, there's some some songs that have like that, someone that cranked the Maggie Q too much yeah, and you need to fix it. So 9K and up or, 8.5 and up so to catch that they're really sometimes even 10 or 12 just that top end uh, on vocals it can be like lower like for example i want to say let's say 6k because the 6k is the rat the frequency that scratches so you can try to set it like that to control not just the super high top end but all those hard consonants that i was talking about and then you have the mid range. Let's let's narrow it down to three bands. Otherwise, it becomes a mess. I know. Um, so you have the mid range. So your vocals, like the tone of the song or the vocal. In that case, again, if you have this one around six k or five k, that's where you start your mid band. And depending on the low end, that's the tricky part. You're gonna set the last one, which is gonna be maybe around one ten or one twenty. And again, if you have a four band, then you want to control the, let's say 50 and below, but it, 50 and below, and at that point, the low mid band will go from 50 and 20 and 120. But again, um, you need to consider two things. One, for the low end, where is the kick drum? Where is the bass? And which one is more prominent? And you go either below or above the fundamental frequency when you set the crossover. The other thing to consider is if you don't use a linear phase multiband compressor, the crossover point will cause a little bit of 
phase shift and a little bit of new. Some engineers, like I do it, some you know experienced engineers do it. You set that core that let's say it's usually 250, 200 around that range. You set your low crossover in a spot where you would cut with an EQ. So you kind of take two birds with one stone, you know? If you have a little too much 250 or too much 220, you set the, the crossover there and sometimes it actually helps to have a little bit of new hair.